I'm down to Chillat Dart and Tackle here with uh, Chad Hammond, the owner of Chillat Dart and Tackle, Dean Work, president of the Fraser Valley Salmon Society, and Nick Bassick, the vice president of the Fraser Valley Salmon Society. Uh, I believe we got a presentation that we're making today, Chad. Can you just give us an update on that, please? Yeah, so first off, we're going to thank everybody that joined our uh, Steelhead Derby this year, and uh, we collected $1,000 cash that we're donating to uh, the GoFundMe page, which was created by the Fraser Valley Salmon Society for the Fraser River Sport Fishing Alliance. Um, and Dean and Nick are going to tell you what that's all about. So here's the $1,000 cash. Thank you very much, Chad. And uh, you know, it's it's donations like this that really make it the difference in our community and within the public fishery. Uh, again, that public fishery and 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 what we're trying to do is we are trying to protect the Fraser River sport fishery for the publicly owned resource by all Canadian citizens. So this goes to protect the legal fund to protect the guys that got charged out there on the bar and the legal funds in the future to be able to stabilize and give us an opportunity so that we can go out and fish, just fishing. We want to just fish on the Fraser River. So thank you to yourself and all the employees and the sponsors and the working hard that you did to provide this for the Fraser River Sport Fishing Alliance. So thank you, Chad. Dean, can you give us an update where that uh, fund stands now and how much we got in there and uh, just a little bit more where that money is going to be spent and the importance maybe of other people still a chance to uh, contribute, right? Yes, well, we don't want to forget that the coffers need to have that money because the lawyers cost a lot of money. We're working with the lawyers each and every day through the Fraser River Sport Fishing Alliance. I look after most of the lawyer stuff with Nathan Bootsma. Uh, but most importantly is the GoFundMe page is somewhere around $51,000. And what a great contribution based on the last five or six months. But please don't forget that we need future money. This legal battle could be a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars down the road. So yes, the importance of continuing on to work hard, to give, to donate to your local thing, to give to the Salmon Society GoFundMe page is very important. And you can they can find that link on the Fraser Valley Salmon Society Facebook page, I believe. It's, it is pinned to the top of the Facebook. People like the MPs, uh, Bob Zimmer, Ed Fast. 25 MPs signed a letter in support of the public fishery, both the ocean, the in-river, and we're all working together and including the Skeena region as well. It's important to secure our future fisheries. Yeah, Nick, maybe you're a long-time fisherman on the Fraser River, bar fished for years. We'd sure like to get that fishery back. Yes, we would, Chris. And I mean, this fishery's been going uh, downhill for quite a few years right now, and it's time that we've, uh, that the public fishery has put their foot down that we you know we there are opportunities out there where we can have a public fishery on the Fraser River for salmon again it's just that we may have to go through some of the court systems and that to attain it and we need this fishery for not only the present anglers but for the future anglers to all the young people that are growing up and become getting into the angling fraternity and another thing I just like to say I'd really like to thank Chad because it was Chad's idea when we did this derby this year, what we were going to do with the money that came into the derby for entry fees and that, and, and Chad made the decision that this money should be donated to the GoFundMe page. And thanks very much again for that, Chad. Yeah, thanks guys. And uh, people watching this video, the way that you can help out, even $10 helps. And so we'll look forward to uh, getting that uh, uh, fund up to the 100000 that we wanted to, to, to raise. And there's a good start to, uh, to move it in that direction. Thank you, Chad, Nick, and Dean.